In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix underexposed photos in Photoshop. All right, so the image that we're gonna work with is this underexposed image of my daughter that I took with my Canon T6. The first thing we're gonna to do to try and fix this thing up is to go down here to the little half circle adjustment layer, click on that and add a curves adjustment. That's gonna show up right here. And then you're just gonna go up to this line, click on it right near the middle and bring it up, just slide it up until it starts to flat line like this. Then you're just gonna bring it back like that. You want it to be curved the whole way like this. Then make sure you're selected on the mask part, like the white like rectangle here, and then go up to image and down to apply image. Everything in here, you're gonna leave the same, except you just wanna make sure like, so this is with invert unchecked. You wanna make sure that invert is checked because that kind of levels, evens things out a little bit in terms of the contrast. When you have it like this, then you still have these kind of like bright spots and dark spots. So make sure invert is checked and click okay. Next, we're gonna go and add another adjustment layer. This time we're gonna add hue saturation. And you know, this one's not really that big of a deal in my image because my, my kind of colors and stuff are pretty oversaturated already. But when you do this, you might lose some saturation in the shadows and you can barely see it on the mask here, but that's all the stuff that we were dealing with on this mask right here. So if we click on this and we go up to saturation, we're gonna increase the saturation for everything, which we don't want. So I'm gonna put that back. So what we have to do is we have to click on this mask right here, hold Alt or Option and click on it and then drag it up to this mask. You're gonna say replace layer mask and click yes. And you're gonna see that all that same detail is gonna be added onto this mask. So now whatever we mess with here is just dealing with the kind of dark areas over here. So I'm gonna click back on this little symbol here on the adjustment layer, and I'm just gonna boost my saturation in the shadows just a little bit, just a tiny little bit in my image. You might have to boost yours more depending on what your image was. Okay, so the last adjustment layer that we're gonna add, if we go back down here, is gonna be a levels. You don't really need to do this one, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna slide this one here over to right where this, the white like mountain things start. So you can see there's this gap where there's nothing. I'm just gonna slide it to the end of there. And then I'm just gonna fine tune this one a little bit for the midtones. You know, it's pretty good. I'm just gonna leave it right there. And that's it right there. Okay, so now we're ready to kind of really fine tune our colors and finalize our image. So what we're gonna do is just click on this, the top one, then hold shift, click on your background image, then go control J to duplicate everything and then control E to merge them. Then we're gonna right click on that because what that did was that took everything we had and made it into kind of one image now. So we're gonna right click on that and convert it to a smart object. Then we're gonna go up to filter and go into camera raw filter. So in camera raw filter, we're basically gonna deal with two things. We're gonna refine our exposure and then we're gonna try and correct this color cast that's on this image because it's obviously a little bit too red. To start, we're gonna go over to basic over here. So click on this little triangle bracket thing, go up to white balance and change it from as shot to auto. That usually does a good job of correcting the image and getting us to a starting point that we can work from. You can adjust temperature and tint here if you want, but I'd say just leave it because we're gonna deal with color a little bit later. For now, let's just start with this exposure section here, starting with the actual exposure slider and if you need more brightness, more exposure, you can slide it to the right. I'm, I'm gonna bump mine up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go down to highlights and shadows. Usually I drop highlights, but since we kind of did that at the start, that was the very first thing we did with this curves layer, I'm just gonna go to shadows, bump that up a little bit. Not this much though, because you can see it adds a lot of noise. So be careful there, only go up a little bit. And then you can mess with whites, blacks, contrast if you want. I'm gonna leave those for now. And then same thing with texture, clarity, and dehaze. I'm gonna bump vibrance just a little bit, even though this looks weird because I know my color cast is off, but I think I needed a little bit of vibrance overall in the colors for my image. Okay, so to correct the colors now, we're gonna go down to color grading here. Click on this one, you're gonna see these three circles. And all you really do is you click on any of them and you go around the outside. I like do like little laps around until I kind of come across the zone that I think that I like. Now, in my case, I know that I need to go opposite 
pink and red. That's kind of the direction that I'm going. So I know that I'd have to kind of stay over in this zone over here. The further you go out, the more extreme the change is going to be. The closer you are to the middle, the less it's going to happen. So I think I just need to go out a little bit towards green for the skin tones. I think that looks pretty good. And then you can use these sliders to kind of bump it up, like enhance it or knock it down. I'm going to go to the right just a little bit here. And then you do the same thing for the highlights and shadows. And then what you don't see here, if I slide this down, you can also mess with blending and balance. So just slide these, you know, along to get the look that you like. So for my image, I think going to the left here, I like for blending and for balance, it's going to balance between what you did for shadows and highlights. But since I didn't do anything for shadows, I'm going to show you that if I go this way, it's going to kind of add more of this into the highlights. So I'm just going to leave it in the middle because I got the look that I like already. And then the final thing that I like to do is go down to calibration down here. So open that one up and just kind of mess with these sliders until I get the look that I like. So really for any of them like hue here, you can slide it to the far right and the left and you can see kind of what it does to your image and then make your decision from there. So I'm going to go away from the pink a little bit. And then saturation means are you going to add whatever color you've kind of slid that hue to or are you going to take it away? So for me, I'm just going to take away a little bit of the saturation of this one. For hue for green, I'm going to slide this along. I kind of like what this does to the left a little bit and I'm going to probably add some of that in because that's also opposite the red when I add green. And for blue, I'm not really going to do anything there because I kind of like the look that I had. Maybe I'll bump up the saturation of blue. And then I'm going to end with this shadows up here, which is really just tinting your image. So you can just slide this along until you kind of get the last little refinement of your image. So I'm going to go to the right just a little bit there. I kind of like how that looks. And that's it. You're done. So then click OK. And that's going to apply that to your image. If you still need to make more adjustments, like you're not happy with what you have here, that's why we made it a smart filter at the start. So now all you have to do is double click on camera raw filter, and that's going to bring us back into the same menu that will still have all of the exact same settings that we had before. So all of your settings that you're messing with here are still there. So if you want to make a further adjustment, you want to do something in here, you want to go back up to basic and you know, add some contrast or add some clarity, whatever you want to do, then you just do it in here, click OK, and it's going to reapply that to your image. So now if I go down here and I hold Alt and click on this little eyeball, that's what we started with. And that's our final image. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.